What's up guys, Sam back in another video. I haven't posted in two days because I just, I don't know, it's just been kind of weird. But, I'm able to post today. I really did want to post this. I got Starwing Jar today. I uh, I was going to get her like tomorrow, but uh, I was so close, so yeah, we got two cores. But, we do have Starwing Jar now. We're still VIP 6, you know, we're not VIP 7 yet, so still going to say I'm VIP 6 gonna get these soon though which will get me close to vip7 but whatever uh but yeah we do have starwing jar now we got these two 10 star puppets but i honestly really don't like need them so yeah i also got two more carry copies one from cores and one from the eminent hero selection chest i also got another uh lot puppet a 10 star one for the glory challenges and instead of using ticks now i actually think my uh Sherlock is better in a uh, PvP because it's just better against like Asmos and S Fexes. He's just he does a lot of damage. But we'll be showing out Sher Sherlock. He actually does really good even with just his swaps and his doves are kind of nice too. But he's V1 base. Uh, Ticks we were running him, but he just kept dying because he was like the lowest health. So I put in Sherlock to you know have one tank because we have like no tanks on this team without the uh, Sherlock. And we do have these Starving Jar as basically a tick, so that's fine. But uh, we also got a Fiona here. Priest gear. We did finally roll Attack Tax Stone, as you can see. I had 550 million gold. Took like 220 million, but I was able to roll it. I did run out of dust, though, but that's okay. I got Cog on her. Full out attack, control removal, V1 base. She's got 314k attack. I got this Rogan. He's got speed, HP, energy speed uh v1 with the hp v1 with the hp same build he's just got speed crit i did try to roll my speed hp but i ran out of dust i didn't want to get him a speed hp because crit is nice but i'd rather have the rogans live longer than you know do more damage because if he lives longer we get more buffs and then here we do have sfx she's got res gear speed attack a and b full speed enables max legendary skin we also got this here, which is just a maxed out SFX, basically. The only thing she doesn't have is the attack node, so that's nice. 3 million power. Starring Jar has got 2.6 million power. Resonance gear maxed out. Orb of Annihilation, because it's basically the best I got. It's better than a regular magic source, because it does give skill damage, I think. No, this gives skill damage, too. It's the same as a magic source. The only difference is it's better on, like, a dark hero, but we don't have a dark hero, but... Either way, if we use a magic source, it'd be the same. We don't really have a good artifact, though, for us, so energy is going to be the best. Be speed crit, crit stone, full speed, and V3, same as a Starwing, not Starwing Jar, SFX, so HP, and the speed, max out speed, of course. Uh, so SFX, she gets 540k, and SFX actually gets 659k. I'm guessing it's different with this, too, 329 yeah, I guess Starving Jar is just uh, kind of just more weak. But uh, Starving Jar, if I did have a Receptor on her, she would have uh, more speed than the uh, SFX. But SFX would still win in speed because we got two Rogans. But it's pretty nice. We do have 1974 speed, even with the uh, Magic Source. So I'm going to go show off Starving Jar. So let's uh, go do some fights with her. We are still a bit under level 180, so whenever TOC reopens, I'm definitely going to have some fun with her in there. And as you can see here in FTA, we've been winning. Uh, we just started this. I put everyone's avatar as the uh, Starwing Jar just because it looks cool. Basically 36 million power now. Uh, my team's almost... I messed that up. Almost 10 million power, but since Starwing Jar is like... A little like low on the might side it's not but if she had the same mind as us effects it'd be 10 million easily but uh, once i get you know a bit more imprints and put them on these v1s here i'll easily get 10 million power probably in like a month but uh boom we got 9.7 million power now so it's kind of nice uh we will attack these people real quick so we did win that nice uh we're not gonna do any fights here in fta maybe we'll do one or two we don't really have that many attacks we have six that's a decent amount but Let's go attack people on the friends list. And also in the guild, we do have some people we can attack. I will attack this guy here, because he used to beat me basically every time. He had three void heroes while well, I had just SFX. He's VIP 9, and he's turned most of his spheres into COT. So, yeah, it's 
kind of a bad decision on his part. But he did get two Rogans now. He still needs a Maxus one. He's got the Fiona and three Voids. So let's go attack him. He's got about two million more right than me. So let's see who wins here. Uh, I've been running this setup with Sherlock in the front in case there's a Asmodel. Asmodel will swap the Sherlock and Starving Dark and Tank in the back. Not Tank, but you know, last longer. So let's see how this pans out. We'll put an X2. As you can see, those Fiona shields keep that Sherlock tanky. And then she does her counterattack. He's basically low. He's going to swap with uh, her. Half health now. Starving Dark does that. And then uh, Sherlock gets her uh, frozen. Goes away after a round, but still pretty nice. As Fex does kill our Sherlock. As you can see, Starving Jar is still alive. We'll put this in X1 because it's going kind of fast here. Okay, we do kill their Fiona with both our Rogans. And then it looks like that's going to happen. And then it looks like Starving Jar might die here. Nope, he uh, attacked Rogan, so Starving Jar is going to get active. Ooh, big active. Got two Petrifies. No, one Petrify and a Freeze and did a lot of damage. We'll get that Fox Pet active there. That'll give us some energy. We'll get full energy on there on the Starving Jar. Starving Jar might die here at SFX. She did. That's okay, though. I uh, think we're going to lose this one. This one was kind of bad RNG. Yeah, we got kind of bad RNG this one. All good, though. We got really close that time, but we got a little bad RNG. He does still have 2 million more might and an extra Void Hero, so... That is something. He, he probably has le about the same amount of Stella, though. Ooh, Starving Jar did really good attack that time. She got those, uh, that freeze also. Ooh, let's go. She dodged, uh, her attack. That's nice. Their Starving Jar will get active. His Starving Jar is decent. I don't know what he's running on her. I'm pretty sure he's running energy, though. So I'll put this in three times. Put it back down to two. But we have six heroes. He has four. Ooh, Sherlock did tank that, so Sherlock... Ooh, he dies there, but he was still alive, so that's kind of nice. Got some extra hits in from the SFX. Ooh, his Starving Jar goes. Ours dies, that's fine. Okay, Rogan should target the SFX. Nice, SFX should die this round. Go, 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 let's go. Okay, SFX died. And then boom. Let's go, Scarlet Queen of Lore is dead. We beat, beat him. He's got 2 million more power. SFX kind of carrying, uh, Starving Jar only doing 59 million, but it really just depends on the match and the team. Uh, we'll fight this team one more time here, and we'll just skip the battle to see how it goes. Hopefully we don't lose. Okay, we did win that one. Nice. So she did 95 million. Let's do one more fight here that we skip. Ooh, we did win again, and we did 109 million. As you can see, Sherlock is absolutely insane with Fiona. He's, if he can swap, he he goes, he goes. does so much damage. As you can see, Fiona's actually putting up good damage, and both Rogans are doing decent too. The healing is actually a lot from the Starwing Jar. Sherlock heals a lot too. SFX is just a beast like always. But yeah, we can finally beat that team, and he's got a lot more might, so I'm really happy about that. This team is actually pretty hard to beat, to be honest, but we will attack him. He does have about a, almost a million less power. But his team is put together a lot better than uh, the other guys. But uh, let's see if we can get a win. I think we did beat him once. So let's see what will happen here. This guy is VIP9 also. He just has more stellar, I think. Not more stellar than me. I'm pretty sure I have more stellar still. Okay. Our Sfex gets a big active. Nice. Our Fiona goes down. That kind of sucks. Ooh. Starring Jar just erasing people. Oh wow, yeah, I guess we'll win this one. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't beat me. 104 million? And of course, that's facts just fucking destroying, as usual. Excuse my language, but insane. It's only one more person to fight, but I don't think I'm going to fight this team, because we just 12 million power. and it, This team's insane. We're going to probably lose. He's VIP 11. His artifacts are so good, and he's got so much stellar, it's just kind of hard to win. As you can see, his s literally... Got our Sherlock to swap round one. Uh, I mean, we'll see what happens, though. Maybe we'll get lucky. Their ticks does die. That's kind of nice. Okay. Aw, oh, our Starwing Jar dies. Our chances are really low now. Really bad RNG. Come on, Rogan. Oh, this carry, dude. I hate carries. I really do. They are so annoying. Okay. We're still alive. It's a start. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, we die. Too bad. He's got Splendid A and B on his S Specs. If we had Splendid A and B, that would help out a lot. He's also got about about 600. He's probably got a good 2 million more Stellar than me. He's got like 12 million Stellar, so. He's actually getting pretty close to his uh, third Void. He's got like uh, 3 million COT, so. Well, like 3.3 .3 million now, but. See if we can uh, maybe maybe get a lucky win. Who knows? Just maybe. Carrie keeps draining our energy. That would be super nice. Nice. We want her to drain energy, but we don't want to die. I guess we do die. So we can't beat him. He's VIP 11. I mean, it's kind of expected though, to be honest. We can probably get a win there if we like skip a few, but other than that, we're mostly gonna lose. But. We can go attack one more person here. So Pandu, uh, he's got almost the same amount of my as me, only one Void Hero. But I was actually beating him more with Tix. I feel like Tix is better against his team. Sherlock's more for like s and Asmo teams. But we can still beat him with Sherlock, so let's fight him. He does have the same setup with the Fiona and Sherlock. He's just got Ignis instead of a second Rogan. And he's also got the uh, Scarlet Queen Alora. Instead of S Fex or Starving Jar. As you can see, we still do pretty good against this team. Starving Jar actually does a lot of damage against this team. Because it's more of like a tanky team, so she can like live out pretty long. As you can see, our Fox Pet does give her full energy, but she can't attack because she gets silent, which kind of sucks, but uh, she still does a lot of damage with that basic. 95 million, it's pretty good. Uh, we'll fight this one more time and we'll skip it just to see. Starwing Jar can do any more damage. Okay, this time Starwing Jar did basically the same as SFX. As you can see, Starwing Jar can do more damage than SFX. It really just depends on the team. Uh, we'll fight one more team here. Uh, yeah, we can fight Mato. Why not? Let's go. He's got like 2 million. About 2.7 million less power. One less Void Hero. Not even a fully 5 team. But uh, I'm sure he's got a fully 5 team. He just likes to use Ignis. I, I never... The people who put Ignis beside SFX, it's just not a good idea because SFX does active on one person just because she doesn't have impeccable flow around one. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Easy win, but uh, we'll go fight one more person. That's actually pretty decent here. So, this guy L, he's in my guild. He's got 12 million power, two void heroes. Don't, 12 million power, you know, that's, might doesn't matter. He doesn't even level 350 heroes. His team is just... I don't know if he's got a lot of stellar or he's running HP enables, but I don't know how he has 12 million power. The Asmo, I'm sure, has got a lot of might, but 12 million power? I don't know. Kind of weird, but whatever. Let's see if we can win this match here. Okay, does look like Starving Jar is going to go next. Nice, big active. Does get that uh, Petrify. Ooh, Sherlock counters the Starving Jar. Pretty nice. Big active from SFX. Ooh, SFX does get counterattacked. Ooh, please attack. Oh, yeah, I think we actually lose this one. We uh, usually don't lose to this guy. Just bad RNG, so we'll do one more attack, and we should be able to win this time. It's really annoying fighting carries, though, because they always are dodging. I have five carry copies. I don't think I'm going to build an E5 carry, though. I think I'm going to leave the five carries for TOC. But once I start accumulating more carry copies, I'm definitely going to build... An E5 carry, maybe a few E5 carries for TOC, because carries and TOC are just absolutely insane. You need it if you want to compete in high PV, at high in TOC. As you can see here, the outcome was totally different this time. He still had six heroes there at the end. Starving Jar doing tons of damage. SFX just carrying because she's a monster. Uh, I think that's really it. Uh, I don't want to go. I'll just show you a team that we can destroy. So this team's got. 500k less power than us, but I'm just going to show you just how insane amounts of damage a Starwing Jar can do. Boom. Half the team gone. This is what happens when you don't use Fiona. Starwing Jar just destroys your team because you don't have shields. That's why every most meta team right now is running uh, Fiona. So as you can see, 126 million round one. Pretty insane. But uh, also... The reason Starving Jar did less damage is the SFX, SFX got to attack before 
the uh, Starwing Jar around too, so she did a little bit more damage. But they did about even damage, I'd, damage, I'd say. We'll fight one more team. Uh, this will be the last team. He's got 12.5 million might. He's, he just got his second Void Hero also. Uh, he's a bit higher level. Probably got a bit better artifacts. I think we've got about the same amount of Stellar. He's just got the two tanky heroes, Scarlet Queen Lawrence. Asmo, so his might is pretty high, but uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see how good this Sherlock. As you can see, Sherlock already swapped with the Scarlet Queen Lore. Nice. Sherlock still tanking. Ooh, carry did dodge. Kind of sucks. I will slow it down. Ooh. Asmo killed Starving Dare. That kind of sucks, but we do have SFX, and SFX is a freak. If you don't have SFX and you're trying to compete in PvP, it's pretty hard. SFX is just needed for even end game still she's just insane really depends on the team but some end game teams don't need uh sfx but most people in end game have sfx because she's just so insane in pvp as you can see we did win so that's pretty nice he did have a lot more power too but sfx is just carrying 420 damage but uh yeah i think that's about it for this video i I also uh, got those 10 cores after doing the glory challenge. They're already back up to 90k COT. We're on the road to a second. I mean, not a second. We already got our second. We're on our road to a third Void Hero. I'm either going to make maybe Asmo. Probably not because I don't have a good artifact for him. Scar the Queen of Lore. Probably. She's honestly my next pick for third Void Hero. Unless Vessa is really good. If Vessa is really good, I'll make her. If she's not, I'll just build Scar the Queen of Lore as a third. But we'll see. Only time will tell, but we got like six months left, so we're good. Well, not six, probably four months until we get an next Void Hero, so it's all good. And we do have this Ignis almost getting our 4.4% chance. Once I get her, that'll be nice, because I do have one, two, three, and then I basically have another copy of Ignis right here. I could have got a fifth copy right now, but I decided to get a copy of Carrie because it's the Eminent Hero Selection Chess, and Carry copies are insane for TOC, so I'm trying to save them up. But uh, I also made a boatload of uh, freaking six stars because monthly to reset, so that's uh, that'll be pretty nice. That's for a void arc tomorrow when it resets. I'm gonna use these six stars, and yeah, I think that's about it. We do have these two ten stars, which I don't really know what to use on, and this nine star. Maybe we'll build another E5. I guess we could build a carry to E5, but I don't think I want to because it's hard to get copies of her. I think our next E5 is honestly going to be like a, uh, uh, we already cleared Forest Seal and we don't need Garuda. Our next E5 is probably going to be either these Morax, which I only have two copies of. I'm not really just getting copies of him from chest, so yeah, we're going to get him pretty slow. But I think our next E5 is probably going to be this Ignis. Maybe even build a Gloria, because I've been getting really lucky. I've got three Glorias. I think I'd maybe build one, but just for like IDA. IDA we do have uh, uh, almost 12 million power now which is pretty nice basically uh, I just need uh, five more E5s get two E5 teams but it'll be a while but uh, next TOC I'm hoping to get like I want to get like top three in next TOC I'm hoping I can get top three uh, last TOC I did really not that good because I had a I had regular E5 jar and like no stellar on people so I only had like nine million might now I should have like 11 million to 12 million with Starwing Jar, so we'll see how it goes, and hopefully we can pull like top three before I rank up to the Hero Division, because I'm almost level 180. Get level 180 really soon. But yeah, I think that's most of the it. Uh, it does look like someone overtook us here in uh, FTA, but uh, I'm not going to let them enjoy first, because i rather have first. So let's uh, go crush these people real quick, just for the fun of it. Let's see how bad Enzo beats them here. Oh wow. Yeah, you're just getting destroyed, mate. That's what happens when you have no Void Heroes. Only a Nosuke did damage. How sad. This feels bad, but you know. It's uh... Get a rank first. Ooh. Oh, that was a big act there from Starving Jar. Oh, I gotta fix my slot. Sherlock should be there instead of Starving Jar. I'll fix that after this. Oh wow, this team's actually doing pretty decent. Ah, uh, not until SFX gets her active. Not too bad, boys. But yeah, there we go. We're back in first. And I will switch this up now. Nice. Okay, I think we're good. 
Uh, it's a pretty decent team there. But yeah, guys, this video is getting pretty long. It's basically uh, 20 minutes now. So, well, it's actually a little bit over 20 minutes. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Also, before we go, uh, I do have 337 million gold. I was going to save uh, Broken Spaces until I got Starving Jar to do it. I kind of dumb. I honestly should have waited to, you know, showed like a uh, Starving Jar on Broken Spaces, but I already did it, so I can't really change that. But, uh,. I'm hoping to save up some gems before the Grey Dwarfs ends and get another resonance suit for like an assassin. So hopefully I can do that. I do have the gold, I just need gems, so hopefully we can do that. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. We're super close to 1,200 subs. Also make sure to join the Discord. The link will be in the description and the comment section. Also, like the video if you did enjoy. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.